This is going to be a rather short video because it's something you already know about, hopefully. It's about finding the perimeter of polygons. And a perimeter is just the distance around an object, and in this case, the sides of a polygon. And how you would find that is to add up the length of all the sides of the polygon. So pause the video and do that now really quickly. Okay, so uh, now that you have that written down, look at your first example. I've got a rectangle here, and I know that the opposite sides of a rectangle are congruent, so I know all the side lengths, so my perimeter is just adding those all up. 25 plus 25 plus 20 plus 20, and that gives me 90, and since I'm figuring out perimeter, I need to have some sort of a units on there. And you're going to have some in your homework like this. So now let's crank it up. What if we get something like this where I don't give you the side lengths, I give you either the vertices or I give you a uh, figure on a coordinate plane and you have to figure out the lengths. Well first I want you to graph this polygon on your sheet. So pause your video and do that now please. Okay, now that you have that, we're going to find the perimeter of this polygon. Well, obviously, we can, um, on side RO, we can just count the number of squares, so we know that is three units. And then I'm going to have to find the length of this side by using the distance formula, because remember, if we have two points, we can find the distance or the length between those two points using the distance formula. So I'm going to subtract my x values using these two vertices and square it. Then I'm going to subtract my y values and square it, add those together, and take the square root of the whole thing. And when I do that, I get a length of square root of 5. And I'm just going to leave it a square root of 5 right now. I'm then going to do that same process using the distance formula with these two vertices to find the length of side st. All right, so I'm going to subtract my x values, square them, subtract my y values, square them, add them together, and take the square root. When I do that, I get that that side length is square root of 8. And when I do that exact same thing on my last side, to, I get a length of square root of 20. Well, now remember that perimeter is when you add all of the side lengths up. So I'm going to do that. And when I add them all up, I get a long decimal, and when I round it, it's 12.5. All right, so you're going to have some like this on your homework, and then the last type that you're going to have that we're going to go over is I may give you a polygon, and I only give you part of the side lengths, so you're going to have to figure out the rest. Well, what if I draw this line and cut that shape into two polygons, two rectangles? Well, then I know that side is 10 feet because it is opposite, and it's a rectangle, the 10-foot side. I also know that this side is 7 because it's opposite the 7-foot side. And if I then draw, cut this polygon into these two rectangles, I know that this side is 20, and this little segment is 2, again, because they are opposite sides of a rectangle. And now, if I put a little plus in there, because I have to add those two little segments together, I've got all my side lengths. So to find the perimeter, I'm going to add up all these side lengths. And notice that I'm marking them off as I'm going, so that I don't forget any. And when I do that, I get that my perimeter of this figure is 78 feet. So the only hard part about this is making sure that you have all the side lengths. I think that you have everything that you need to do your homework and there is no teacher talk on this concept unless you have questions.